Hi, today I'm going to show you how to import a CSV or Excel file into ArcMap and create a shape file based on that CSV file. So here I have a CSV file containing uh, the monthly precipitation station locations in California. The first step is to check the CSV file. Make sure that the table doesn't have a complex formatting like merge cells, double header, or more than one sheet. Uh, having latitude and longitude is required if you want to import CSV into ArcMap. Uh, for the header names, use only English letters, uh, digits, and underscore or, und or underline. Uh, if you have um, any space uh, in, your, in your header, uh, just replace them with underlines. And the first row is um, the, title the title for each column. Uh, if you don't have a title, uh, ArcMap will consider the first row as your title. So put title for each column and use full stop as a delimiter for uh, decimal numbers. So once you check the data, uh, you can import the CSV file into ArcGIS. Uh, I usually add a basic map like the border of state before adding a CSV file. Uh, so, and then to add the CSV file to ArcMap, you can just use the add button and add data, add data exactly the same way you add a shape file. Find your CSV file and add that to ArcGIS. If I open this, so you can see that I have the exact CSV file here. The next step is to right click on the added file, go to display XY data, and here set the X field to longitude and Y field as latitude. If you have the same, the exact name in your table, it will be picked automatically. For uh, geographic coordinate system, I selected this one, but you can change that by clicking on edit and select any coordinate system that you want. Then click OK and OK. So now you can see the data displaying on uh, a map, but still it is not in shapefile format. If you want to convert this point layer to shapefile, right click on data go to data and then click on export data. Here I can give it a name, like for me it's stations. And add it to the map as a layer. Okay, now if I remove this CSV file from here, you can see that I have stations. and uh, in my map. So I have my shape file, but uh, I want to make sure about the location of my stations. To do that, I'm adding a base map. Let's go with this one. Once I have uh, the, uh, the base map here, I can open the attribute of my station and like click on one of the stations because the location is mainly based on the location the sites are located. So uh, double click on that and it will zoom on that selected site. So the name of the station was King City. If you check that on base map, you can see that it is located on King City. So now I'm sure that the, lo the location of the stations are correct. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel and like. Ask any question about GIS in the comments. I will answer your questions in the comment section or I will make videos based on your question.